For us, it's principle over party all the time. There are many examples of the founders warning about the power of factions, which would certainly include the massive political parties of today. Alexander Hamilton and James Madison discussed it in Federalist 9 and 10. In his 1796 farewell address, George Washington famously warned of the alternate domination of one faction over another. And in the New York ratifying convention, Melanchthon Smith said he'd only support his party as far as is consistent with propriety, letting other members know that his primary goal was to stand for his principles. In short, if you're dedicated to a politician or a political party rather than a foundational principle, you'll always be led on the wrong path and help set the foundation for what Washington called a more formal and permanent despotism. In 1763, a young John Adams noted that in every age, many of the best writers and speakers had wasted their skills in foolish, deluded, and pernicious flattery of one party while engaging in furious, prostitute invectives against another. Today, our view at the Tenth Amendment Center matches his rejection of this partisanship when he wrote, I would quarrel with both parties and with every individual of each before I would subjugate my understanding or prostitute my tongue or pen to either. <laughs>